So here's the situation. I have an old Skag walk behind mower. I've had it at least 15 years, and it was used when I bought it, but it's still working pretty well. A few years back, I got a chance to pick up a used grass catcher for it. The grass catcher has two parts. A metal mounting plate that bolts to the mower, and then the grass catcher itself, which is a kind of a cloth-covered metal framework. The grass catcher has had a hard life, and it's in pretty bad shape. It has several tears, the bottom's all worn out, and some of the welds have broken. It's no longer usable. I looked at buying a new one and found the price less than appealing, so I decided to build a replacement. Here's the first version, a prototype if you will. I made it out of leftover deck rail balusters, hardware cloth, and scraps of plywood. It actually worked and held up for about two years, but had some limitations. And the biggest one was that it was not sturdy enough, especially the bottom and the corners. After this past mowing season, I decided it was no longer going to do the job. I decided to use what I'd learned from the first version, and some of the parts, and rebuild it. The best part of the old one was the part that fits onto the mounting plate on the mower. I put a half inch lag screw in each end of the top, and on one end I cut the head off, and on the other end I left it on and ground the shaft down a little to make it easier to get in and out. I kept that piece. The bottom was the worst part since I had just hacked it together as I was learning how to do this, and it was a bunch of scraps of plywood. I retained the mounting part, attached it to a new plywood base, still scrap, but all one piece, and cut to size this time. The old version depended on screws through the baluster pieces at the corners to hold it together. That made the joints loose and fragile. In this version, I attached the bottom ones straight to the plywood base. Before going any further, I thought it would be best to test fit it to the mower. Success! I had mitered the joints for the end, and that worked better, but they were still taking a lot of stress and some of the screws had pulled out. I repaired all of that with wood glue and new screws. I still thought this was a weak point in the design, so I added sheet metal gussets at each corner. That made the end very stiff and sturdy, and I was able to firmly attach it at both ends to the plywood base. The next step was to add the side rails. I felt they would be better out of the way and add more strength if they were lower, and provide a better place for the handles. In reality, the handles were about the same either place. Here it is, fully reconstructed, a little bigger, a little stronger than before. I gave it a coat of black spray paint and hooked it up. Time for a test run. Yep, that's stuff that works.